Everything we do, we pick a, a nonprofit that we want to get behind and we want to support. The nonprofit that we picked for this specific purpose is the Association of the United States Army. Chris Dawson and I kind of talked about how can we turn our passion, which is polo, into something that would benefit service men and women who put on the uniform for us every day and, and go into harm's way for all the things that uh, we cherish so much, you know, our liberty, our freedom. And so that's why we're here today. What I love about polo is the horses. They're magnificent. Uh, a good horse is a good partner. The horses play with their heart. They're very bold, they're very brave. Polo's 2,000 years old. Its roots is tied to army officers worldwide. The Americans, the Brits, the Indians, they got together and organized it into the sport that it is today. But the roots is army. Here, here comes Dawson, Chris Dawson. Polo's incredibly unique here in Hawaii and it's important to me to perpetuate it. Can he take it all the way? Oh, keeps it fit, keeps it in, he scores! Ladies and gentlemen, we have a tie! We're here at Fort Shafter Flats at the historical Palm Circle, benefiting our military and our army and really just bringing polo back to its roots. It's polo with a purpose. Coming out of the last 10 years in Iraq and Afghanistan, it's very important to us, the Polo community, to reach out and support our military and their families. Today's day was dedicated to Nainoa Ho. He was the first Native Hawaiian killed in Iraq. He was a son of Hawaii and a huge loss for all of us in the Hawaii community. Another local boy, Jonathan Brostrom, unfortunately died and gave his heart and his life for all of us in what we live for every day here in Hawaii. Today, we're, this is for the public, this is for our families. And we hold polo here at this very historic place, Palm Circle. Major George S. Patton played polo here, right here on this field. And it hasn't been played since World War II. And we decided, well, it's time to bring back some traditions and some of the honor of, of how we grew up. And the way we grew up was riding horses and, and playing polo was part of that because it was all part of fitness and aggressiveness, and it's a great sport for, for Army officers. Sends the ball towards goal. Army goal, look at this, Alan Ho. Devin turning on the play, looking up the field. He's got Alan Ho down there, and he sent it up. Be able to play at Palm Circle for the Army is like, it's incredible. I feel like I'm a part of history today. Being a Marine and being in the military and being part of Polo here on, on Fort Shafter at Palm Circle has just been more than an honor. It's really powerful, it's really special. So it's been an incredible day for me. It's taking care of Army families, it's taking care of wounded warriors, and it's really helping to talk about polo and to talk about the Army, and, and it's beneficial to both. It's just been a great, great relationship. With any great idea, it starts with leadership and drive and commitment. General Rosinski was think big, make it happen, can do. So it really was his leadership that pushed all the way through to make this day a success.